my phone was hacked through my carrier, AT&T, the American, uh, uh, it's the largest carrier in America. And what happened, this is brand new to me, they managed to hack into AT&T to move my phone number to another phone. Prior to being hacked, my phone was totally disabled. You couldn't call into it. I could not call out from it. So everything coming in, including my text messages, went to another phone number. This is something totally out of my control, totally out of everyone's control. Hackers are becoming more and more proficient and more sophisticated in their hacking techniques. If this can happen to me, I promise you, it can happen to anyone. Well, it, it, it's not just all the apps we use. It's not just Twitter. What happened in my case, I'm sure that it costs money. I probably someone at at and had to be bribed. Why would they do that? Because I was issuing every day a recommendation the, for, the, for the new alternative coins, alternative to bitcoins, cryptocurrencies. People would invest hundreds of millions of dollars into these coins. What the hacker did was he recommended six different coins within six minutes and invested, I'm sure, much money beforehand into those coins. As the coins rose, the hackers sold his money. He may have made tens of millions of dollars. It was worthwhile to spend whatever it would take to get my hack. Now, if they can do it for me, again, they can do it for anyone. Again, I don't know whether they bribed someone at at and It happens frequently. I don't know whether they have some secret method of hacking into the at and wireless system. I'm still working on trying to find that out. Well, it, it's not, a, what happened to me is not a threat, but there's a great threat to all miners. There's a great threat to all people who hold cryptocurrencies. Most people do not keep their currencies on their own wallet. They use wallets on the exchanges. Now, if I were a hacker trying to hack into wallets and get money, I wouldn't search around the world for individuals that had their wallets. No, I would go to an exchange. And the exchanges have billions of dollars in cryptocurrency. So yes, they're all at risk. Everybody says, no, we are secure. That has been proven over and over and over again to be absolute nonsense, beginning with Mt. Gox a couple of years ago where hundreds of millions of dollars were lost. This will continue to happen until people, the, the owners of the exchanges understand that the world they are in is far more sophisticated in terms of hacking than they believe. And I promise you, every exchange will at some point in the near future become, get hacked. 